Why do we get headaches? Find out in today's episode of That's Fascinating. Why do we get headaches? The majority of headaches that people complain about are dull and thudding headaches, known as tension headaches. These tension headaches are common and can occur quite easily without too much provocation as they are caused by the tightening of the muscles on the back of the neck and scalp. Muscles in the face and the meninges, which is a layer of tissue around the brain, can also contribute. Headaches can be caused by many reasons, including stress, anxiety, too much medication, too much caffeine, not enough sleep, changes in the weather, the wrong or old prescription for your glasses, and even noise but not necessarily loud noise. Basically, anything that we find annoying and makes us tense up can cause this. Even laughing and smiling too much can tighten these and cause a headache. One thing to note is that a headache is not pain that is physically on or caused by the brain, as the brain has no pain receptors. And not all headaches are equal. There are more severe types of headache sensations, including migraines and cluster headaches. These types of headaches are known as a vascular headache, and though they can be triggered in much the same way as with tension headaches, they work in a different manner to inflict pain. Though it's not exactly understood how they are caused, it's often thought that it's due to the constricting of the arteries which reduce blood flow and oxygen to the cerebral cortex, or even swelling of the blood vessels which then push up against nerve endings around the brain. This is also thought to be the reason for the throbbing and pounding sensation as it's pushing up against the nerve endings with every heartbeat. Migraines typically last for 4 to 72 hours and cluster headaches tend to last longer still, anywhere from weeks to months. Even though it's not fully proven, cluster headaches are thought to be more from a lifestyle behaviour like taking pain medication for too long or consuming too much caffeine. The reason being is that pain medication and caffeine restrict the blood vessels, reducing blood flow and oxygen to the cerebral cortex. Cluster headaches are odd as they seem to affect one side of the head at a time and sometimes more specifically around the eye. There are other types of headaches including sinus tension headaches. Though they have similar effects as tension headaches, they are often caused by infection and result in pressure on the sinus. A common modern day way to get rid of the common types of headaches is to take paracetamol. Paracetamol is a very particular type of medication as it doesn't directly stop or affect the physical pain that the headache is causing. It instead works in the brain and stops the brain from sending out pain signals. This is why it's such a popular type of temporary use medication as it allows your brain to stop sending pain signals for a period of time until your actual body physically heals or recovers naturally and overcomes the pain. And do animals get headaches? Well, that's impossible to know, as there are such a large variety of types of animals. But it's anecdotally thought that other mammals do get headaches, and there are a number of cases which suggest that they do. In a particular study involving a dog, it was said that the dog showed symptoms and behavioural changes which suggested a migraine and the treatments undertaken were similar to what humans take when suffering from a headache. The dog apparently recovered after the successful treatment. As interesting as this is, and as nice as it is to know that the dog no longer suffers regularly from migraine-like pains, it's still impossible to know if it is truly a headache. Many of the common reasons for more mild headaches are due to lifestyle habits. And so you can save yourself the pain and annoyance by simply making a few changes. If you work behind a desk and look at a computer screen all day, take regular breaks and allow your eyes to rest and look out at scenery or objects at a distance. If you wear glasses, make sure that you have the correct prescription and get your eyes tested as recommended. Exercise and maintain a balanced diet. Take notice of the amount of sleep that you get, whether it's too much or too little. Avoid too much caffeine and finally ensure you stay properly hydrated. You'll be surprised at how those few changes make such a big difference to your life, not only for reducing common headaches, but also to your overall well-being. Now that's fascinating. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon and be notified of future videos.